Hello children I am your teacher from grade 4 Fiduru College today we are going to learn the first part of the second ENV lesson safety and precaution During this session we are going to learn why should we consider safety and precaution types of accidents insecure situations insecure places accidents and precautionary methods Let's see why we should learn about safety and precaution. We should consider safety and precaution in order to avoid insecure places, dangerous places that bring us harm, to avoid accidents that we might come across daily, to identify diseases and be aware of them. It is always better to be aware of these factors as it is been said by our ancestors, prevention is better than cure. types of accidents there are two types of accidents according to their cause some accidents can occur due to the natural phenomenon which we are unable to control they are referred to as natural disasters but most of the accidents happen due to irresponsible actions by humans they are called accidents caused by human activities let us focus our attention on the two types Natural disasters. A natural disaster is a major bad event caused by the natural process of the earth. A natural disaster causes loss of life or property damage and leaves some economic damages after costing millions. Examples: floods, tsunami, earthquakes, volcanoes, hurricanes. These disasters cannot be controlled by humans. but we can minimize casualties by being prepared disasters caused by human activities these disasters happen due to irrational and irresponsible activities of the people it also causes loss of life or property damage and it affects the economy as well but we can control these disasters by thinking rationally about the consequences for example oil spills in the oceans by ships this unfortunate occurrence kills many creatures in the ocean and damages the coastal region nuclear explosions one of the famous nuclear attacks in history is the nuclear attack in hiroshima during the second world war Even now people are suffering its consequences. Fires or arsons. Fires can be accidental or intentional. This also causes death or property damage. Road accidents. Most road accidents happen due to the reckless acts of people. Therefore, we must follow road rules to avoid such accidents. Terrorism. Terrorism is calculated use of violence. being aggressive against civilians people who live in a country to attain goals that are political or religious this is done through instilling fear this causes much loss of lives now let's focus on insecure situations insecure situations are actions which accidents may occur therefore we have to be cautious and avoid them if possible some of them are walking along the road or railway track crossing the road or railway track when the train is at the vicinity bathing in lakes rivers or the sea climbing trees walking and jumping into the puddles of water after heavy rain staying outside when lightning occurs lighting fire crackers handling glassware and sharp tools using electrical equipment when lightning occurs roaring or bathing in floods you must make sure to avoid these situations as they cause harm you should educate your younger siblings as well about the dangers caused by such situations 
If you come across such situation, inform and seek help from your parents or any adult in your home or dial the emergency number 119 to get help. Insecure places. Insecure places are the places where accidents may occur. Therefore, if you see such places, you have to avoid them. Some of the dangerous places are unprotected railway crossings, unprotected wells, puddles of water, slippery floors, stairways and slippery surfaces. Swirling waters, earth sliding areas, footpaths of wild animals, river banks, holes and burrows where serpents live, forest area. Finally, we are going to learn some common accidents which cause harm and their precautionary methods, the things that we can do to prevent them. Getting stung or bitten by a snake. The poisons can spread all over the body and which will cause great pain. If the poison spread across the body, it could cause death. Therefore, you must get hospitalized for the treatments. You should wear shoes that cover the foot when walking in insecure places and carry a torch when walking at night. Touching broken glass with bare hands. By touching shards of glasses, you can get cuts and bruises and cause blood loss. Therefore, use gloves to clean the shards of glass as it will protect your hands from being cut. Touching hot containers. If you touch containers which are hot by your bare hands, you will burn your hands which give you a great pain. So use a cloth or pliers to hold them. Drowning. I'm sure you would like to have a bath in a lake or a river. But we have to check whether it's deep. If not, you might drown and die. Therefore, refrain having bathed in unprotected water resources. Safety is a choice you make. Unfortunately, your home is also a place where accidents are most likely to occur. Everyone should be aware of the dangers in the home so that accidents can be avoided. The purpose of this presentation and the lesson is to raise awareness of the types of accidents that may occur in the home and the environment and what steps you can take to prevent them. Accidents can be avoided if you are mindful of whatever you are doing. Fun activities to do at home. Design a poster to educate others to prevent accidents. Prepare a small leaflet with safety tips of common accidents may happen in our home. Okay, it's time to review. Try to answer the following questions using your thinking caps. Why should we consider safety and precaution? What are the two types of accidents and provide three examples for each? Name four insecure places which we have to be alert of. State four insecure situations that we should avoid. Write harm caused by the following accidents and provide a precautionary method. Drowning, getting stung by a snake, touching shards of glass with bare hands, touching hot containers. That's the end of the first part of the safety and precaution lesson. Be healthy and safe. See you soon.